All right, folks, gonna do a little video on a uh, air system diagnostics on a uh, 939 series truck. Um, this is a uh, common problem where people say they hit their hit the brakes and they'll hear an air rush out of their intake up here. And just hear an air rush. That's all they ever hear. You know, just both tanks will drop and you know, it's just a city burst of air. You push the uh, push the brake pedal. So common problem on these trucks at the Citadel Isle is gonna be the Q2 valve, which is up on the front, um, on the front of the truck, there's a little uh, drop down piece right in front of the front axle. It's got five lines going to it. A couple different models of it, uh, what they look like. Um, so, but the Q2 valve has a vent line that runs from it down the driver's frame rail to the uh, there's a series of vents right behind your air box on the inside of the frame rail. We'll go to it in a second. There's three vents that come through it. The vent from the front, the vent that comes from the back, from both both axles vent do one line back to the uh, the vent up here on the uh, frame rail. And there's a vent from the inversion line. The vent from the inversion line is for when you use it on a Use your front glad hand for your service on a tow bar or whatever. That's how it normally works. So there's three vents. I'll show them to you in a second. But the uh, you know that's, that's that causes all your air to go out your intake up. All right, we're front of the truck. There's your vent block right there. All right, and you can see up on top. There's one big uh, vent port right there. Has no line on it. That one right there goes to your air cleaner. The one coming in on the bottom side right here is going to your front Q2 valve. Mine is off because my Q2 valve vents up higher. I didn't want it coming back here. I, I vented out the front of the motor. Um, so that's just a line in there. That should be your front one. This line here comes from the rear. And this line here below it, you can see it or not, it actually, uh, actually is on top right there. It goes out to your inversion valve, which is going to be right out there. See that white line? Bottom valve, the rear of the, is the vent for that. This is your Q2 valve. Looks a little different. Most people have different ones. It's actually a plate that mounts right here. It mounts onto our normal suspension. Mine's got an engine mount in the way. Um, the bottom line, which would be the white line, it's going to be a big, it's all the same size, uh, 13 16 um, wrench. But the way in order to tell it's a Q2 valve very, very easily is remove that vent line off of the Q2 valve. Go up in the truck, hit your brakes. If the air does not dump back through the intake, You'll hear it dump out the front of the truck real, real loud. It'll be way out the front of the truck, so you'll know um, where it's at. You'll hear it. It'll be a real bad hiss. Um, when this is working properly, it shouldn't hiss air until it releases, which will be the little you normally hear when you release your brakes. So one way to determine if the Q2 valve or not real quick is to pull that line off. If your air going to your intake ceases immediately, then you know it's not. A, then you know it's a Q2 valve. If it's not, then you know you got a, you got a service brake diaphragm um, that's leaking across, and it can leak a lot really bad, especially if they poke a hole right through them. All right, um, I'll show you real quick how to determine which service brakes you're looking at. All right, got your service brakes can. You got your spring brake can on the front with the service on the inside, and then you get your service on the back side. Um, you know both. Both axles have one. I have clean wash mine off. Down the road for about a week or well, about two weeks of down the road. So all kind of crap everywhere. But one way to determine which section you're dealing with, you got a front axle and a rear axle. The air lines from your truck, from the tanks and the drivers on the passenger side of your truck of your truck, one main line goes to the front axle and main line goes to the rear axle. 
So what you'll do is this. All right, on a normal truck right now, normal 939. All right, see your line right on the right-hand side? It's not rusted. That line right there is going to be from your, that is your secondary tank. Primary tank is on top. Primary tank, the one on the right, goes all the way around the truck and goes around to the uh, double check by number seven. The one on the left supplies air to the front axle. Sometimes it'll be swapped. Just make sure you trace your lines. Um, when we're determining which which service brakes you're looking for, because you know you got a total of ten, uh, I say eight back there. So in order to determine which ones you're looking at, what I would do normally is close off both, bring, bring your truck up to full pressure, close off both your primary and secondary tanks with the valves down here. You got one right there and then one on top of it. All right. If you're still having that problem where it's uh you know leaking to the intake. With your spring, with both your tanks closed off, your truck not running, push your brake pedal. Make sure also before y'all do all this that your um, that your service glad hand on the rear actually is closed. Uh, otherwise, you're dumping air out anyway. But when you do this, see what tank leaks off air. They will not supply tank air to each other. So basically, only the wet tank shares air to both these. Uh, both these one of these will supply air to the spring brake tank but that will not matter when you're doing uh, when you push your brake pedal so what you'll do is is you'll you know pull it down and see which brakes are you know which which tank is losing air well if it's secondary tank you know it's going to the front axle um to be the front axle uh, brake unit so if you're losing air the secondary tank you know you're looking at the front axle by itself if you're losing air from the primary tank you look at the rear axle by itself all right so that's the way because they don't share air together so when you're when the tanks are leaking down themselves whatever tank is leaking air is what ask you know what to look for if they're both leaking down then you're kind of you know you're shooting at both of them no matter what get your spray bottle out and start spraying around them and uh, see what you do but that's the easiest way to figure out if it's a q2 valve or, or you know or a service brake diaphragm um or in, in the how to determine which one it is also, the secondary tank will only leak down on the front uh, service. The secondary tank will also leak air when the, the secondary uh, diaphragms for the service brakes on the front axle are bad. The front axle is a secondary air system. So if you also have a secondary tank leaking down, it could be a front axle uh, on here. They only feed off the secondary side. So they're pretty simple. When you do these things, service diaphragms are not dangerous, not dangerous at all. Um, one way to do them, um, just from my opinion, if, you, if you're doing it, planning on doing it, go get you a piece, a couple pieces of all thread, cut them down, and use two nuts. And that way, when you put the clamp back on it, just put the all thread to it, run them down together, get the clamp back together, right, nice and easy. Then pull it out and put your bolt back in it, or get a longer quarter inch bolt or half an inch bolt longer than what you have. Um, I might do a video to you know sometime on that just to show you how, how easy and how simple it can be. Some folks fight with them, send them with a spring brick can. Some folks fight with them all day long, and there's no reason to. Um, so, but that's one thing you can do is, is when you take them clamps off, put them back together, put your diaphragm in it. Put back on, it may, you know, it'll be spread apart. You can use channel locks try to pull back together and use a longer bolt, but to make it easy, pieces of all, cut pieces of all thread down that are about two and a half inches long, and that way you can put it through there and zip down both sides of it real quick. It'll clamp, it'll clamp it down nice and easy. You can leave it like it is, as long as you put some lock washers on it, or you can put, take it, take it apart and put a bolt in it. When it's when it's clamped down like that, it'll be easy enough to put a bolt back in it. But easy way to determine which axle it is. If your primary is leaking down, it'll be your rear axle. If your secondary is leaking down, it could be your front axle too, which are easy enough to figure out, and they're pretty simple, or your front axle and the rear. So sometimes, though, airlines are crossed because not everybody was smart to figure out how to, how to do it. Um, so when I did mine, uh, actually I redid the ones going on my rear axle are red, red lines, and the rear and the uh, um, the secondary tanks are all green lines or blue. So, um, other than that, you know, 
The only thing you can do in order to make it real easy on figuring out which one it is is by pulling the uh, um, pulling the exhaust ports off the uh, tree in the back, which are kind of a pain. So, um, so the third ones are always the exhaust. I'll show you this one. When you go to exhaust, this one right here is always your exhaust on both trees. The third one in. This one here goes to that big white vent back up the front of the truck I showed you on the, on the frame rail. So it's always be the third one. So, but other than that, that's about it. So that's how you figure out if it's going to be which spring cans are leaking or or service cans are leaking or which uh, if it's a Q2 valve leaking. So.